Two crab cake, right? Two scallops, right? This is my home. It suits me. And I want it to feel like home and welcoming to my diners. Grew up in Brooklyn. I went to City Tech. It was really the city that I wanted to practice cooking in. That's a porterhouse. All that beautiful. So it's a great steak. What makes beef prime is the, it's called the marble, and that's the amount of fat that's within the meat itself, and not just the fat that's on the outside, but what's in the meat. And that, that marble is what gives meat flavor and tenderness. My father came here from uh, Sicily in 1924. My family has been here. My mother was born on the Lower East Side. Having a restaurant in New York, this is what my dream was. I take great pride and, and joy in being here every day. My name is Michael Lomonaco, and I'm the chef and managing partner of Porterhouse New York, and also now Center Bar, which is located here at the Time Warner Center. Porterhouse New York opened in 2006. I had an opportunity for this space here at the Time Warner Center. The idea was for it to be a great American steakhouse. An American steakhouse is really part of the history of American restaurants. We can trace our sense of hospitality, conviviality, generosity, American warmth to these early days of steakhouses. I worked with Cyril Maccioni at Le Cirque. I worked with the original owners of the 21 Club at 21. I worked with Joe Baum at Windows on the World. So it wasn't just the restaurants, it wasn't just the kitchens that I was part of. It was also this arc of American restaurant history. When I was first starting out, there were very few chef-owned restaurants. And over the last 30 years, chefs have turned into the owners. As a chef, it really meant uh, establishing what is the food about, what is the experience about, and being interested in not only the back of the house, but also the front of the house. All of that actually fits me really well. Everything is cooked when the orders come in, and that's the key to a great, I think, to a great kitchen. If you can come to a restaurant that serves dry-aged prime beef, Scottish game birds, great lobsters from Maine, wild striped bass from Montauk, that's an American grill. For me, that's a great American restaurant. I think any restaurant really needs to have a, not only leadership and a leader, but it needs to have a vision. You need to know where you're going every day, and to stay true to that message means that it's authentic and it really resonates with, with the diner. It just is about details, and it always comes down to one, one plate at a time, one detail at a time. The real lesson to be learned is the need for constant awareness of um, trends, cycles, and the need to keep learning.